Hey guys, what's up? Today I am doing my anti-Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. And I am first starting off with my NYX Angel Veil Primer. And I'm just putting that all over my face with my hands. After that, I'm going to go in with my NYX Honey Do Me Up Primer just so I can get some more of a glow because I really like my glow and then I'm going in with my elf shimmering facial whip in lilac petal And now I'm just going to spoolie my brows out. And I did my brows off camera, but I used the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate, and then I set my brows with my e.l.f. brow gel. And I just, after I finished them, I spoolied the front again, because they were looking a little dark. And then I'm going to go in with my foundation, which I used the... L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in 103. Now for concealer, I'm going in with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla just to highlight under my eyes, my forehead, down my nose, my cupid's bow, and my chin. And then I blend that out with my Real Technique sponge. And now I'm going to go in with my cream contour with the Wet n Wild Dual Ended Contour Stick in light medium. And I just use the darker side because I like how it's kind of gray but kind of warm at the same time. And I just take that into the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, my jawline, a little under my lip and on my nose just a little. And now I'm just going to set my whole face with my e.l.f. translucent powder very lightly. Then I'm going to go in with my Cody Airspun loose face powder with another sponge to help with fallout and to bake my under eyes while I'm doing my eyeshadow. And then I'm going to prime my eyelids with my e.l.f. eye primer. I don't know which one, it's just the tan one. I've had it for so long the name's rubbed off of it, but I blend that in a little bit with my sponge and with my finger. And I redo my powder because I messed it up a little bit. And then I'm setting my eyes with my e.l.f. translucent powder and then a little bit of a pale eyeshadow. For my eyeshadow, I mainly use two palettes. I use the Makeup Revolution palette with all of the neutrals, and then I use my Naked Urban Decay Smoky palette. And I just went in with a very light brown, kind of orangey color first, and then I went in with a cooler brown over the light brown.
Then for this gray color I'm going in with, I'm using Password from the Urban Decay Smoky Palette. And I'm mainly putting that in my outer corner and then slightly dragging it into my crease after I've gotten most of it off in my outer corner. <laughs> And then just over that, I go in very lightly with a black from my Makeup Revolution palette. I very lightly start to go in with it. I don't want it to be really heavy. I just want it to be lightly there. And then later on, I go in heavier with it. And the key to this look, especially since I'm using darker colors, is just to blend, blend, blend. Because you don't want to have any harsh ed edges and you don't want to go in too heavy, and if you do, just blend. And then I'm just going to slightly cut my crease with a NYX eyeshadow base in White Pearl just to make the eyelid color more vibrant and make it pop more. For the main eyelid color, I'm going in with a Makeup Forever eyeshadow in M846. I just really wanted a pop of color and it looked really pretty underneath my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in Metal, which I put over it and it looks really good. It makes the Metal eyeshadow look like it has a pink undertone in it and it just makes it look really good. And I'm just going to blend everything out a little more, add a little more gray into my crease so it looks more defined. And I'm adding more black in my outer corner to make it darker because after I put the red on it looked a little lighter than what I wanted. And then I just wet my brush a little bit with my Mario Badescu Rose Water and I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow in metal and I put that over the red and it looks so good. I loved it. And then I just blended the edges out around it so it didn't look really harsh. I didn't want it to look super harsh. And then for my brow bone highlight, I used 13 from my Naked Smoky palette. After that, I just wiped all of my bake away, and then I used my sponge just to sponge it out a little bit so it wasn't so dry. And then I sprayed my face with Mario Badesco Rose Water, and I finished my eyes with some Wet n Wild eyeliner just in my tight line and in my waterline. And 
And then to finish the under eye, I'm just going in with the black from my Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm smoking out my under eye. For mascara, I am going in with my L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara first, and then over that I go in with my Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Mascara. <laughs> And then I zoomed you guys back out to finish off the face and I'm starting off with my Benefit Hoola bronzer and I'm just taking that on the perimeter of my face and down my nose and a little bit under my jaw. And then I'm going in with blush and I'm just using my Wet n Wild blush in apricot in the middle. And for highlight I'm using my Essence so Glow Cream to Powder Highlighter and 20 Bright Up Your Life. And I just wanted a pinkier undertone to my highlight. So I, I used that first. And then I go in with my Becca Moonstone Highlighter over that so I can have that intense highlight that I love. And then just to blend everything out after that, I use my e.l.f. Baked Bronzer in Los Cabos. Just so everything looks all bronzed and blended. Now for lips, I'm going to use my Wet n Wild, a different Wet n Wild eyeliner for lip lining because I'm using black liquid lipstick and that was going to be hard. And for the black liquid lipstick, I use my, my NYX Suede lip, Liquid Lipstick in Alien. And then just to finish the face off, I'm spraying my Urban K All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, and that is the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It was my first time ever doing something so dark. I never usually do really dark eyeshadow or dark lips like that, but um, I think it turned out pretty good. If you guys want to see a brow routine, let me know. I can definitely do that video. I will link not link, I will list all the products I used down below for you guys. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Bye!